All right, you guys. We left you with a, an engine here that uh, wouldn't start, so uh, I'll take the blame for that because uh, I told little dirt bike throw it together. You know, we had a, we had a stuck valve and I, we unstuck it, and you know, I just took it for granted that you know we'd be able to uh, start it up. You know, he's uh, he's a college student and he only had 45 minutes at night, and I know he was anxious to get this thing running, so uh, I told him I say slap it together. And we we hoped for the best, but uh, we knew that there wasn't much of a chance because uh, if you look, I can spin the whole thing with my fingers here, and you can hear you can hear some compression, which made me think we should we would be able to start it, but uh, the valves are worse than I thought. But uh, I guess it turned out better for you guys because now you get your valve job. So let me throw you up on a tripod, and uh, we'll tear this thing down and do it right. All right. I got you guys over my shoulder here. Well, uh, I'm going to try and stay out of your way there. Just disconnect the spring here. We just hook that on there. Give us a little spring tension. But uh, there's not much uh, to these, taking these apart. We just got two screws holding this carburetor on. I forgot to say gas, and I'm glad you guys said that. Okay. We got that off. Uh, might as well take this off too, right? That's just going to be in our way. Oh man! Oh, we get a bigger wrench. It's been on here for a while. Okay, I got a bigger wrench here. I got you uh, strapped down to the table here, but I don't want to put too much tension on because you'll end up breaking a leg off or something like that. Let me see. Oh man! Man, oh man, Road King! Woo! Wasn't expecting that. This is where I need the kitties. It's a lot easier just say, you might take that off. This is useless little bent out of shape, so. All right. That way we can clean out all in there. It's got all kinds of rust and shit in there. We don't need that. Okay. Can you see this down here? Okay. This is our valve cover. On the, on the 6S's, they got this little fin. I guess that was for extra cooling. On the 5S's, it's just a little square block, but uh, that's for extra cooling there. A little FYI there for you. All right, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so our gasket's still good. All right, this here's like a little oil splash thing. Keeps the oil from splashing out. You just take it off. It pops right out. Now. Got like a little PVC. Well, you know, though, I'm gonna lower you guys down a little bit so you can look straight in with me. Okay. What you got here is a little PVC well, PCV, I should say. PCV, positive crankcase ventilation. And uh, I, got, I got a little headlight on, so uh, give you guys a little bit of light. I'm not, I don't have a screen in front of me, so I don't know where I'm looking. I don't know what you're looking at, so uh, you just take this little uh, spring out, and this little spring just holds this little thing. It's a, it's a valve. You hear it? I don't know if you hear it. You hear it? All right. And that's just that's just a a hole in the block there, so uh, it gets air. And the next thing we just gotta lift these up, and they got little pins in them. But first, we gotta take our head off. So you see what we're doing. All right. Let's take his head off here. Take spark plug off first. Not too bad. The 
and loose in that one. Look at me guys and say anything. There you go. Make me look like a fool. You know, take a razor blade off and get that uh, gasket off. But uh, now we can see the valves, so uh, we're gonna have to clean all that up anyway. All right, I got the camera light on. Plus, I got this headlight on for you. What I did is I turned the valves. You have a pin in here. I turned the valves so that the pin is facing out. That way, you can grab it with a pair of needle nose. Then all you have to do really is. Lift the valve up a little bit, and you can't see the top, but the valve is sticking up, so I'm just going to leave the screwdriver in there like that, and maybe uh, hit the valve down. Well, that didn't work. I'm trying to stay out of your way, so that ain't helping matters any. Okay. It's better if you get, if you, uh, if you get screwdriver on both ends, then you're lifting up equally. But, uh, there we go. I think I just heard it pop out. I think I see it. Yeah, if you lift these up evenly, it's a lot easier. Let me see if I can grab it. I think it might be a little carbon might be holding it up. Let me check into it. Yeah, a little carbon was holding it. So what I did is uh, I put these, I'm trying to say out of the way here. I put the needle nose in so it would lift it up evenly. And then you could actually hear it. Uh, there you go. It lifted up. So that's what you got to do. You got to lift it up evenly. And then maybe stick something in there. And you can actually just grab that pin. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the pin. Now, what happens is the spring will go all the way down, but the valve itself, let me back up so you guys can see the, the top. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of congestion going on out there. But uh, anyway, what you do is uh, grab the valve, and the valve will come right out now. And here's that hole. All right. I'm going to take the other one out. Then, then the spring, you just grab the spring and uh, pull it out. Be careful because you got a little keeper on the bottom. You don't want to lose that. Where you at? So, okay, that one's out. And uh, let's see if I can do the same thing over here. Like I say, sometimes you get a, a screwdriver and just tap the top because you have carbon holding on the bottom. But let me get that one out and uh, we'll see what they look like. All right, I've got the camera light on, my headlight on, and I've got this here, and hopefully you can see it. I'll try and stay out of your way. You get a little pin right here, and you just pull it. There you go. I don't know if you're in focus or not. Probably not. There we go. Yeah. So you just pull it out. And then you just pull the screwdriver out. Let that uh, little hot stuff drop. Okay. <clears throat> then I'll raise you up here and you can see where I just had to take it out. Alright. So right now you can see the valve here. That's the exhaust valve. I took the intake out. But uh, you want you always want to make sure you keep them separate because they are interchangeable. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scratch a little X in the top for exhaust. They're usually written, written on there somewhere. We'll see when we clean them up. But anyway, yeah, now you can uh, just lift that up. Sometimes there'll be a little carbon holding them in, but uh, just twist them a little bit and they'll come right out. And uh, this one, well, you can see it. Oh, yeah. You see, this one is pretty groated. So uh, we'll hit these on a the wire wheel. In fact, that looks a little pitted, so uh, wow. A lot of carbon inside. Let me take you off the, the lift and show you. Show you what that looks like. Alright, take a better look at this here. 
this is pretty bad. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, got a lot of carbon build up here and and then on here. So uh, we'll clean it up. It says here I got about 15 seconds left on my battery, so let me go get my battery, a new battery, and uh, we'll come back and uh, finish this up. All right, we got you guys a fresh battery. Another thing, I'm going to, I forgot to take this, uh, this other spring out here. This is the exhaust spring. Another thing I wanted to mention to you is was uh, the springs are, are different tensions. And I'm going to try this out with my left hand without the, shooting this thing across the garage. I have that little piece in the bottom I don't want to lose. But anyway, all right. Let me put my other hand down before that uh, shoots out of there. And uh, your exhaust valve is always a little stiffer. So make sure you, you never uh, interchange them either. Now let me grab that out of there. I had a close look at your intake valve, and your intake valve was seating uh, beautifully. Really nice. You see a nice shiny uh, surface in there. And then if you look at the... I grabbed the wrong one. If you look at the bottom of the intake valve here, you can see the way that... Uh, it's bright shiny silver right there it uh, looks a little dirty but uh, for the most part it was like seating pretty well another thing I just noticed uh, the intake valve it says uh, IN on the bottom here so that there lets you know it's the intake all right I'm gonna take this over and, and if you look at this one I mean this this exhaust valve was uh, really cruddy no wonder it wasn't running and this one here so we're probably gonna have to lap, but let's uh, let's clean them up and see what they look like. All right, guys, we we'll cleaned this up, and uh, you're not gonna be happy. This uh, this intake valve is uh, oh, the light on the light helps. This intake valve here is uh, perfect. It's beautiful. Let me see. Uh, yeah, you see how nice it is around the edge and everything. So this is perfect. That'll Nothing wrong with that. It goes in there nice and everything, and it's uh, no play or anything, so that's perfect. But now this, I'm put my glasses on so I can see this with you. This is the exhaust valve. Yeah, this thing is a mess. I'm going to try and zoom in on it. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there we go. Back off a little bit. I mean, it's all pitted and rough and chewed up. But uh, I think I've actually saved this. I, I, I might give this to Mike and uh, have him just put that. He's got a, you know, a valve uh, cleaner upper or whatever the hell he call him, valve cutter. You know, it's got a little uh, indent here, but uh, the shaft itself where it sits and the seats in there is nice. So uh, I'll see if Mike will cut that for me. That'll be good. But uh, the real bad part is up here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this valve seat is uh, pitted really, really bad. Matter of fact, it's even rounded. You know, I have a valve seat cutter, but uh, you know, it's pretty big. It's for the for the big hit and miss engines and stuff like that. I don't even think Mike has a, a valve a reseat or valve cutter for that. But if you look close, you know, there's like a little edge, a little lip around there. You could actually pop these exhaust ones out and replace that seat, so that's one option. But uh, we'll see. I thought I'd have uh, an extra valve, you know, but uh, all I have is five S's. You know, this engine is a 6S, which means it has a, a longer stroke than what we're used to uh, working on. We usually work on the five S's. And uh, here's a five, five S valve, and you can see. They're same, you know, they, they fit in the same seat and everything, but uh, they're shorter. You know, and I can actually actually weld something on there and make that work, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I think Mike can uh, save this valve. If not, we got guys in the, in the business there who will uh, take care of us and give that to us. But I'm surprised we don't have a, a seat. As many as these small engines work on, we don't have uh, a valve, valve uh, cutter for these little guys. So... So we're stuck until we uh, fix that. And meanwhile, I think maybe I'll take the piston out. You know what's strange? The piston is even pitted and stuff. And it's actually got a swale in there. 
from fire and everything. So this engine was probably well used, but it was well maintained also. Because the piston itself doesn't have any side play at all in it. So I'm going to take it out and clean it up. I can't do anything else with this engine, so uh, I'm going to go in and have some lunch. Maybe call Mike up, have him stop around, pick up his valve, and uh, then maybe I'll, uh, I'll even see if I can get a seat. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, let's go have lunch first.